So hey everyone, how you guys doing today? Erica back here again with another tutorial on how to create a free WordPress blog from scratch. A few tips to consider when you are creating your free blog on free platforms. WordPress.com is limited to 3 gigabytes of space. You cannot add a Google AdSense to generate revenue off uh, WordPress.com. And another tip is that WordPress.com does not allow all affiliate links. So you need to take consideration of that before you create your new blog. Now to create personal blog is okay to use WordPress.com. It's uh, a really simple platform that is user friendly and anyone can create a blog in literally five minutes. That said, if you are creating a blog to promote affiliate products or you want to create your blog to generate revenue, I advise that you go with blogger.com because you have 15 gigabytes of space. You can add Google AdSense and you can also add whatever affiliate link that you choose. It is a great platform for people who are planning on making money from their website online. Next, you want to go ahead and create a free account with canva.com to be able to create images for your social media accounts, your YouTube videos, your blog, and so on. The next and last step you need to go ahead and do it before we create our free blog is create a new um, Gmail account with your keywords in. Of course, you have, you have done your keyword research and you know exactly what niche that you are getting into by going on to Amazon, finding a product that in a specific niche that you are going to create content and create a blog around. Now that you have found your niche, done your keyword research, go ahead, create a, Gmail, a new Gmail account that you are going to be using to create your blog on WordPress.com. Now you need to go on to Google search and type in WordPress.com and this page is going to pop up. All you need to do is click on get started. Just a second until this loads guys. Now this page is going to open up and it's going to ask you what sort of a blog you want to create. You can start with a blog, start with a website, start with a portfolio and an online store. For this we're going to be going with start with a website. Next, you want to choose a theme. You don't have to worry about that now. You can pick any theme you like and later on you can change it if you choose to. So here you're going to enter your keywords that is going to be the name of your website. And for this, I'm going to add, let's just use blue foot scrub. Yes, Blue Foot Scrub is available and it's free. You are going to select the free option. Now you're prompted to um, upgrade, which we don't want to. We're going to start with a free plan. Now you have to add in your email address, which I'm going to do just a second, guys. Once you've added your email address, create my account. Awesome. Now we have a WordPress blog. Click on continue. You can verify your email address later. It doesn't matter. Just a second. Okay, this is your new website blog. Now we need to customize your theme. Scroll down where it says themes and click on customize. In here, you need to add your site identity, and like we typed in before, it is blue. Sorry, I don't know how to spell today. Uh, foot scrub. Next, you want to add your tagline, and this is your meta tag. This is what is going to show search engine what your site is about to be able to get. Uh, ranked in the site in the search engines you need to have a tagline which are your meta tags this will show search engines okay let's say foot scrub
real. I'm just uh, adding in keywords from the top of my head. And now you need to set a logo. To create a logo, you need to go to canva.com. That's why I said that you should sign up for canva.com. Just a second until this loads. You can you need to go ahead and choose use custom dimensions and in here you're going to type in 200 by 100 pixels and click on design. You can find logos in here. Some are free and some are paid. Just type in your term and you can scroll down select a logo. Okay, let's say I chose this one. This is free. and you just need to resize it you can change the colors if you want to and I'm gonna put in okay blue foot scrub and that is it guys this is how you create a logo in Canva if you want to change the colors you just click on the image and you can choose your colors in here and that is it you can change the color of the font and to download this image you need to first say uh, rename your image you can rename it in here and you just I already have that renamed as blue foot scrub you download the image and PNG is recommended. Download the image. Hold tight until it downloads to your computer. Then we need to go back into the customizer and click on add logo. You select files from your computer. Now that you've uploaded the image to your WordPress blog, you need to add your alt tag, your alt text. This image is already is also going to get um, indexed in Google. So if you have a great, a good description that people are searching for, um, it is going to be, get shown in the image search on Google. Okay, set as a logo. There you go, your logo is set. Now you want to create a site icon. Here it says you need to create a 512 by 512 pixels. We're going to go back into Canva. Use a custom dimension. Just a second. We're going to use 512 by 512 pixels and click on design okay now I am going to use the same logo that we used before because you want your logo and your site icon to correspond and for the site icon you need to drag this icon until it fits because you want it to show up in the browser you can also change your colors and fonts okay and you have to rename this to your site what did what do we call it that was blue foot Scrub. You change the font to black and you need to download this as a PNG file. Next you want to open your image in Photoshop and remove the background. If you don't have Photoshop you can go ahead and use an online background remover. And okay now that we have done that I'm just going to save this file. Save as, save as a PNG file, save it and replace it with the other one, okay. 
and we're going to go back into the customizer and you can select an image you upload the file and that was no okay for scrub okay don't forget to add your alt text for your images and there you go there you have your uh, site icon that shows up next to the www dot now you have your footer credit where it says on your screen here at the end of the page create a free website or blog at wordpress.com if you can change that here powered by wordpress blog at wordpress a wordpress.com wordpress.com you can choose whatever you want and you just go ahead and click on save and publish